Hi, this is Roxanne. Okay, so <coughs> your next assignment is a, a research essay, and um, it's required by the state of California that you write one. It's also required by the state of California that you write 8,000 words or more at a C level or better. So in order to hit that mark, you need to write a research essay, which is required, and you need to write this essay at a C level or better. Uh, in order to earn credit for the class. Don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out. Um, this is not a difficult assignment at all. As a matter of fact, um, it's um, if, if, if there is a caveat in this assignment, it's that I'm probably giving you a little too much time, and for some of you, you will embrace that time and spend that time researching, and for others of you, you'll, you'll go, um, you know, waterboarding. Oh, God, waterboarding, isn't that something they do in the military? Oh, sorry, um, you know, swimming, diving, dancing, whatever, um, instead of spending your time wisely working on this. So um, I'm going to really encourage you, if, if you know if you were in a face-to-face -face class with me, I would be on you, you know, every Tuesday, on Tuesday I'd see this, and Thursday I'd see that, and the next Tuesday I'd see this. Um, but I don't have that, um, you know, I don't know, power, but... Um, I'm, so I'm giving you the time that you're going to need to get this done. And um, now, because you're getting an extra couple of days, some of the assignments that would be typically due on a Thursday are now due on a Sunday, including two of the threaded discussions. Um, in the same way, the two assignments, including the final draft and then the um, mini outline that's required, um, those are due on Thursdays, so we're flip-flopping it a little bit. I'm giving you a little extra time at the beginning, which means I'm extending the due dates for things, which means um, that, uh, you know, again, things that would be due on a Thursday, like a threaded discussion, are now due on Sunday. So for the next three weeks, it's going to be, um, it's going to be like that. So I really want you to take a look at the due dates to see when things are due. Um, what else? Um, you need to write... 8,000 words um, at a C level or better in this class in order to pass the class according to the state of California. Um, and so in order to do that for this class, you need to do this assignment. So, um, and you need to do it at a C level or better. And I have no doubt that you'll be able to do this. It's not hard, it's a little time consuming, and I don't think of the words time consuming as negative, but I know that some people do. Um, but if you pick a topic you really love, or that you're really interested in researching, then um, you'll be motivated to do the research. Now, I know you're probably tired from the theme analysis, and you, you know some of you might want to just spend the next couple of days just doing nothing that has anything to do with an English class. I totally get it. Um, another reason that I'm scheduling this as for a 24-day gig is that um, I, this paper is going to be due, your final draft is going to be due right before Easter. So that'll give me some time. I will be spending my Easter break grading these. Um, which is not really fun to do, but that's just what we do. What else? There's other things on the screen that I need to let you know about. Um, I think that's all. Um, I just want to, you know, encourage you to uh, take this opportunity and, um, you know, really research something that's of interest to you. Now, what else? Um, okay, so if you're somebody who doesn't want to to wait three weeks. Let's say you, you want to just get this sucker done and you want to hand it in right now or hand it in in a week. That's fine. Just email me. Um, most of you have been in email contact with me through the semester and that's fine. Email me a draft. Um, if you are planning on using work that you've already done for another class or maybe last semester you were in my 151 class and you wrote, you know, if, you know, a, a, a short version of a research essay and you would like to extend that, you can. Um, just make sure you let me know because when you submit it to turnitin.com, it's going to show up as plagiarized because you will have been plagiarizing yourself. And there are some instructors who don't let you do that. And there's been a big, you know, hullabaloo about that on, on the Columbia College campus for sure. Um, what else? 
Oh, also, if you're planning on using um, a subject that you've already been writing about or, you know, using a paper that you've already written as like the beginnings of this research essay, um, that's fine, but you really need to change it. I mean, it can it has to be a paper that you're really going to use and expound on and um, you know, you can't just use the same paper and change the heading and write three more sentences in it and submit it. Um, there's a format that you need to follow and I would like to encourage you to use the fill in the blank forms and I would like to reiterate that there is a format to follow in this class and um, you have to follow the body paragraph format um, and you'll see there's student examples in this module those three different student examples in this module of um, research essays that are great there's one in your book from Anthony Martinez about the mental health system um, there's examples of the mini outline, there's fill in the blank forms, there's work cited page, there's blah, 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 blah. So this is just me saying to you, go for it, go for it, go for it. Um, and I just wanted to, I, is that it? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you knew about the whole 8,000 point thing, because I know some people at this point with all the extra credit that you've had and, and the grades are inflated big time, uh, for some of you, you might be thinking, oh, I really don't need to do this, or I could just get a D or an F on this. It doesn't matter. No, you have to pass this with a 70% or better. Um, so I think that's it. But I don't really, you know, you're, you'll, you'll be fine. I'm just, you know, your cheerleader right now. Rah, rah, rah. You can do this. So um, good luck to you. And um, email me if you need to. I will be doing office hours Wednesday from 7 to 9. But, you know, if that doesn't work for you, just email me and we'll make it work some other way. Um, I'm really um, excited to read your work. I'm excited to read your theme essays too. So uh, for those of you who um, are still doing them, <laughs> break a leg. I'll talk to you later. Bye.